Dear students, welcome to 101.5 FM Akashavani Kannur. Padichu munnera, rasichu munnera, ee samaya vayilude. Radio teacher. Radio teacher. ആശയം ആവിഷ്കാരം പി വി പ്രശാന്ത് കുമാർ ഡിയർ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് രണ്ടായിരത്തി ഇരുപത്തിനാല് മാർച്ചിൽ എസ് 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 സി പരീക്ഷ എഴുതുന്ന എല്ലാ കുട്ടികൾക്കും വിജയാശംസകൾ ഉയർന്ന മാർക്കിലേക്ക് ആകാശവാണിയുടെ ഒരു വഴികാട്ടിയാണ് രാത്രി എട്ട് മണിക്കുള്ള റേഡിയോ ടീച്ചർ പ്രക്ഷേപണ പരമ്പര ശ്രദ്ധയോടെ കേട്ട് പഠിക്കുക ഇതാ ക്വിസ് മാസ്റ്ററായ ടീച്ചർ സ്വയം പരിചയപ്പെടുത്തുന്നു ഒപ്പം വിവിധ സ്കൂളുകളിൽ നിന്നും ക്വിസിൽ പങ്കെടുക്കാനെത്തിയ ടീം അംഗങ്ങളായ പത്താം ക്ലാസ് വിദ്യാർത്ഥികളും ഹലോ വെൽക്കം ഓൾ ഓഫ് യു ടു ദ റേഡിയോ ടീച്ചർ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ക്വിസ് പ്രോഗ്രാം ആൻഡ് ഇനീഷ്യേറ്റീവ് ഓഫ് ആകാശവാണി കണ്ണൂർ Let me introduce myself. I am Sina, teacher of English from GHSS Kannadi Parambha. I am your quiz master. More than a quiz, the goal is to focus your attention on the important areas on the fifth unit, okay? Participants, please introduce yourself. Team A. I am Anvin Jos. I am Vaishnavi Suresh, coming from St. Joseph High Secondary School, Talsheri. Team B. I am Anasara. I am Vaishnavi Dinesh. We are from Chodavur, HSS, Chambad. Next, Team C. I am Hessa and I am Aisha Azmi. We are the students of Sacred Heart Girls High Secondary School, Talashiri. Team D. I am Angita K. And I am Vijay Lakshmi. We are from Government High Secondary School, Thiruvangad. Okay, the last team, Team E. I am Parvana P. And I am Sri Sada Biju. We both represent Rajiv Gandhi Memorial High Secondary School, Mogiri. Welcome once again to the quiz program. Our questions are based on the fifth unit. We know we have got two short stories and one poem. So let us begin. Radio teacher. Welcome all of you to the third round of our quiz program. And the rules are each question carries 5 marks. If a team doesn't know the answer, and they will get 3 points. And if that team also doesn't know the answer, any team member can say the answer, but there will be no reward or points. Okay? So let us begin with team A. The questions are from the poem Mother to Son. My first question is why do you think that the mother is telling her son about her life experiences? Why is she explaining the hardship she has faced? To said that mother says that she has to face a lot of racism and inequality in her period. So she is encouraging her son to do well and never look backward in life. Always move forward in your life. Yes, correct answer. Team A gets 10 points. She is sharing her experiences to encourage him to never give up, lose hopes and to keep climbing the stairs of life. And maybe the son is a little afraid, maybe he is not confident to move forward. So she wanted him to lead a life very strongly with confidence so that he can gain strength and bounce back from the failures to a very good life. Next question goes to team B. Identify the poetic device in the line So boy, don't you turn back Racial verb No Passing the question to team C Alliteration No Listen to the sentence So boy, don't you turn back Anyone knows the correct answer? Yes Assonance Assonance Team A said the correct answer Assonance Because the sound O is repeated In the word So, Bo, Don't So repetition of same sound in the same line is Assonance Okay No points for any of the teams Radio Next question goes to team C What does the line say? cause you find it kind of hard convey this lines give us a message that our life is full of ups and downs it won't be smooth every time we should face challenges in our life it won't be easy all the time okay it is the correct answer it conveys the fact that climbing the steps of life stair will be a hard task she is reminding her son about the fact team c gets 10 points 
Next question goes to team D. What does the expression there ain't been no light convey? The meaning of the sentence, the lines there ain't been no light. What does it convey? The mom says that she has faced a lot of darkness in her life like lot of tough points, something like faith or hope. Yes. That was the correct answer. Team D gets 10 points. The lines there ain't been no light conveys that the mother sometimes reaches a situation where there is no ray of hope SSLC പാഠങ്ങൾ ഉൾക്കൊള്ളിച്ച പ്രതിദിന പ്രശ്നോത്തരി തുടരുന്നു Next question goes to team E which is the shortest line in the poem mother to son Passing the question to team A. Bear. Right answer. Bear is the shortest line in the poem. Mother to son. The question is not over. Why did she say that? Because in her life there was absence of love, care and support. Correct answer. Team A gets 5 points. And bear is the shortest line. It is only a word but it is considered as a line. And she says that her life is devoid of all the basic needs of a person's life. Maybe without anyone's support, care and protection. She had to face a lot of sufferings alone. My question is to team E. With what message does the poem end? Not to give up in the difficulties that we face in our life. Very good. Correct answer. Team E gets 10 points. It ends with a positive note, right? Yes, she is telling her son not to give up, to face all the problems with courage and overcome every obstacles in his life because she knows that life is not going to be very easy. We know the poem Mother to Son is a monologue and the mother is speaking to the child. And what we understand is the love and courage of the speaker as she encourages her son to persevere and overcome the obstacles that life may throw at him generally it is an advice to move forward in life overcoming the difficulties the tough realities of life the poem depicts the social backwardness of african american people and their miseries and hardships in life It is a dramatic monologue written in free verse style. It does not follow any rhyme scheme, metric pattern, etc. And the tone of the poem is encouraging, hopeful and didactic. The meaning of didactic is it is like an giving advice. The mother wishes to share her experiences and to encourage him to never give up, lose hopes, but to keep climbing all the challenges he will encounter. He might be a frail-hearted, fickle-minded or skeptical, means very doubtful or seems to have lost hope and confidence. So she advises him to be strong and confident. And she is showing her own life because she is still climbing in her old age, the rough and tough stairs of life. without yielding before the obstacles in her life this poem is really a motivation for the present generation also where people get disappointed for very silly matters so this is a poem that would boost the energy levels of all the people of all the categories it's a good advice also to the present generation too the poem ends with a positive note It ends with a message to face the problems, adversities and never give up. Life is never going to be easy. One should be strong enough to face and overcome every situations and keep going. Radio teacher And there is an expression going in the dark and it means that mother sometimes ends up in some helpless situations in her life another expression is there ain't been no light what do they convey it conveys that the mother sometimes reaches a situation where there is no ray of hope the first stanza ends with the word bear what does it mean yes it means that the mother's life is devoid of all basic needs of a person's life maybe without any support or protection from anyone she had to face a lot of sufferings that is why the bear is given there okay radio teacher 
you have learned the lesson cast away it is written by ravindranath tagore yes ravindranath tagore it is a story about the emotional journey of a boy named nilkanta nilkanta and he seeks to win the undivided affection of kiran kiran but in the course of his life he faces jealousy abandonment and shame when a rival appears in his life who was the rival satish, satish. next question goes to team d what really is the battle of gods and demons mentioned here a storm that occurred only the storm what all things were happening in the nature at that time the nature was totally disturbed during the time storm was occurring there was lightning and thunder during that time yes. and also the atmosphere in the sea was also bad yes it means heavy downpour of rain with thunderbolt and storm okay correct answer team d gets 10 points Next question goes to team C. A recovered person never needs further recovery. What did Kiran mean by that? A recovered person never needs further recovery. What did Kiran mean by that? She means that she feels that she is already recovered from her illness and doesn't need to be in Chandranagore anymore she doesn't like staying there as she has to sit idle but back in the village she used to talk with the villagers during her free time yes correct answer team c gets 10 points <laughs> kiran meant that she had already recovered from her illness and she did not need any more treatment or doctor's care Next question goes to team B who was the new guest to the riverside and how did he reach there who was the new guest to the riverside house and how did he reach there it was nilkanda during the storm his boat turned up down and he survived from that and reached the home yes correct answer it was nilkanda his ship upturned and he happened to reach team B gets 10 points <laughs> എസ് എസ് എൽ സി പാഠങ്ങൾ ഉൾക്കൊള്ളിച്ച പ്രതിദിന പ്രശ്നോത്തരി തുടരുന്നു മൈ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഗോസ് ടു ടീം എ വാട്ട് വാസ് എ കൺഫ്യൂഷൻ അബൌട്ട് നീൽഗണ്ടാസ് ഏജ് ഹി അപ്പിയർ ടു ബി ഫോർട്ടീൻ ബട്ട് ഹിസ് ആക്ഷൻസ് ആൻഡ് പെർഫോമൻസ് and his dialogues made it look like he was beyond 70 yes correct answer his hairless face and innocent look shows that he is only 14 but the words and the way he smoke conveys that he may be beyond 17 correct answer team a get 10 point We have finished our third round. Let us check the score chart. Team A gets 25 points, team B 10 points, team C 20 points, team D 20 points, team E 10 points. The total score is team A 40 points, team B 25 points, team C 35 points, team D 46 points, team E 31 points. Congratulations. <laughs> There are lots of interesting characters in the lesson cast away. Kiran is a major character in the story. She is a favorite of all her native village people. She cannot bear the lonely life in the riverside house and wants to get away from there immediately. And when Nilkanda comes to the riverside house unexpectedly, she becomes very much close towards him. And we know that she has got lots of character traits which are there She is lovable, jovial, amiable, caring and sensitive. She was eagerly looking for some sort of companionship. At that time, Niliganda reached there, isn't it? And he ignores all his mischiefs. Kiran is a kind and trustful woman, but at times more than matured and responsible wife, she appears to be a playful child engaged in merry making even with Sadish. her brother in law and another character is nilganda nilganda is a protagonist of the story he belonged to a theatrical group he reached the riverside house after his boat sank in the river and it is very hard to tell his age from his innocent and hairless face but his way of talking and the habit of smoking suggests he was beyond 17 years and what are the things the sadish and his mother didn't like about him he made bad friendship and a mongrel dog his pet together they did all the mischief this irritated sharath and his mother he was happy and enjoyed the care and love of kiran 
and when sadish came kiran's attention diverted from him this made nilaganda very angry his behavior became wild toward his friends and everyone a secret revenge formed in his mind so he decided to take the instant that was very favorite to sadish and when the family decided to return to their native village he too wished to go but no one was allowing kiran to take him with them when kiran found out the missing instant he could not face her as he was unable to prove that he was not a thief so he left the place without anybody's notice so that is the complete character sketch of nilkanda isn't it there are many more points to add still the main thing are this എസ് എസ് എൽ സി പാഠങ്ങൾ ഉൾക്കൊള്ളിച്ച പ്രതിദിന പ്രശ്നോത്തരി തുടരുന്നു വെൽക്കം അഗെയിൻ ടു ദ ഫോർത്ത് റൗണ്ട് ഓഫ് അവർ ക്വിസ് പ്രോഗ്രാം ഇൻ ദിസ് റൌണ്ട് വി വിൽ ബി ഡീലിംഗ് വിത്ത് ഗ്രാമർ സെക്ഷൻസ് ഈച്ച് ക്വസ്റ്റിംഗ് കാരീസ് ഫൈവ് മാർക്സ് ആൻഡ് ഇഫ് എ ടീം ഡസ് ഇൻ ആൻസർ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി പാസ് ടു ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ടീം ദേ വിൽ സ്കോർ ത്രീ മാർക്സ് ആൻഡ് ഇഫ് ദാറ്റ് ടീം ഓൾസോ കെ നോട്ട് ആൻസർ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ലെഫ്റ്റ് ടു എനി വൺ ഹൂ കുഡ് ആൻസർ ബട്ട് ദേ വിൽ നോട്ട് ഗെറ്റ് എനി പോയിന്റ്സ് ഓക്കെ മൈ ഫസ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഇസ് ഐഡന്റിഫൈ ദ സെന്റൻസ് പാറ്റേൺ ലിസൺ ടു ദ സെന്റൻസ് വാങ്ക സ്ലെപ്റ്റ് ഇൻ ദ പാസേജ് എസ് വി ഒ Yes, B. O. No, partially correct. Team B, identify the sentence pattern. In the sentence, Vanka slept in the passage. S, V, A. S, V, A. It is subject, verb, adverbial. What is an adverbial? It is something that answers to the question how, when, where, how often, etc. With regard to the verb. It is connected with the verb. Correct answer. Team B gets three points. Next question to team B. Vanka rocked the baby. Vanka rocked the baby. Identify the sentence pattern. S-V-O. Correct. Subject, verb, object. Team B gets 5 points. Next question to team C. The final news made Martha happy. The news made Martha happy. D-O-S. Not the correct answer. The question is moved to team D. S-V-O-A. No, partially correct. Anyone who can answer this question? Yes, team B. S-V-O-C. Yes, correct answer. It is subject, verb, object and complement. <laughs> Sentence was, the news made Martha happy. The news is the subject. That is what we are talking about. Made is the verb. Martha is the object. And happy is a complement. Okay. How will you identify the object of a sentence? Sentence will be based on the subject. No. Object is something what the subject does. We can identify the object by asking the questions what, to whom, etc. For example, my teacher gave me a gift. There are two types of objects. One is direct object and indirect object. So in this sentence, my teacher gave me a gift. Which is the subject? My teacher. My teacher is the subject. Gave is the verb. Then me. My teacher gave me what? Gift. A gift. So something that answers to the question what? A gift means it is a direct object. Whom did the teacher give the gift? Me. Me. So me is an indirect object. In the same way, Martha in this sentence was the object. Okay. And how many basic sentence patterns are there? Seven. Seven. Which are there? Subject and verb. Subject and verb. verb object subject verb complement subject verb object object that means one is direct and other is indirect then subject verb object complement subject verb adverbial and subject verb object adverb okay radio teacher we shall continue next question goes to team d The sentence is Sadish called Nilkanda a thief. S V O C correct. Sadish called Nilkanda a thief is subject 
verb object complement what is a complement a person tells something about the other no a complement is a word that complete the meaning of a sentence in this sentence sadish called nilganda it is a complete sentence isn't it there is subject there is a verb there is an object again the last section the thief is a complement to that sentence so the pattern is s v o c okay team d gets 5 points Next question to team E. Nilkanta is an actor. S V C. Yes, correct answer. Subject verb complement. Nilkanta is an actor. Subject verb complement. Team E gets five points. Next question is to team E. Vanka reached Moscow. S V A. Can you explain? Subject verb adverb. Adverbial. How it is adverbial? It relates with the verb. Ah, uh, it is related with the verb. Reached, isn't it? Yes. And the adverbial always answer to the question how, when, where, how often, etc. So it is the correct answer. Team E gets five points. <laughs> this question is based on active and passive voice. We have this in our fifth unit. So the question goes to Team D. Nilaganda stole the ink stand. Change the sentence into passive form. Nilaganda stole the ink stand. The ink stand was stolen by Nilaganda. Correct. So in the sentence, Nilaganda stole the ink stand. The object is the object is ink stand. Ink stand. So in a passive sentence, usually we begin with the object. So the right answer is. The ink stand was stolen by Nilkanta. Usually, we use the V3 form of the verb in passive forms. Okay, Team D gets five points. <laughs> Next question to Team C. Kiran threw the ink stand in the river. Kiran threw the ink stand in the river. Identify the object, then tell the statement again. The ink stand was thrown in the river by Kiran. Correct answer. The ink stand is the object, so the sentence which was said was a past tense. So the ink stand was thrown into the river by Kiran. Correct answer. Team C gets five points. Next question goes to Team B. Vanka is writing a letter. Vanka is writing a letter. A letter was written by Vanka. No. Identify the tense there and change into passive. A letter is being written by Vanka. Correct. A letter is being written by Vanga, but it was a second chance used, so you get only three points. Next question goes to Team A. Grandfather will take Vanga back to the village. Grandfather will take Vanga back to the village. Vanga will be taken back to the village by the grandfather. Correct answer. So Vanga will be taken back to the village by the grandfather. grandfather. Correct answer. Team A gets five points. See, in active voice, the subject of the verb is doing the action, but in passive voice, the subject of the verb is being acted on. To change a sentence to passive voice, make the object the subject and use the correct form of the verb be with the past participle of the main verb. So we usually use only the third form of the verb in passive voice. So is it clear for you? When we finished our fourth round, the scores are as follows: Team A five points, Team B eleven points, Team C five points, Team D ten points, and Team E ten points. Their total marks are: Team A get forty five points, Team B thirty six points, Team C forty points. Team D fifty six points, Team E forty one points. Congratulations. I had nice time spending with you all. We had some smartest brains from different schools here. All competed very well. Good luck for your public exam. Today's radio teacher quiz master, Srimadi M V Sena, teacher of English. Government High Secondary School, Karnataka Paramba. Team members: Team A, Anvin Jos, Vaishnavi Suresh, Saint Joseph's High Secondary School, Talasheri. Team B, Vaishnav P Dinesh, Anishwara P, Chodavur High Secondary School, Chambad. Team C, Aisha Azmi, Hezza Marin, Sacred Heart Girls High Secondary School, Talasheri. 
ടീം ഡി അൻകിത കെ വിജയലക്ഷ്മി പി ഗവൺമെന്റ് ഹയർ സെക്കൻഡറി സ്കൂൾ തിരുവങ്ങാട് ടീം ഇ പാർവണ പി ശ്രീസദ ബിജു ആർ ജി എം ഹയർ സെക്കൻഡറി സ്കൂൾ മൊഗേരി റേഡിയോ ടീച്ചർ നാളെ ഇതേ സമയം അവതരണം ആകാശവാണി കണ്ണൂർ ആശയം ആവിഷ്കാരം പി വി പ്രശാന്ത് കുമാർ നിർവഹണ സഹായം എ കെ രതീഷ് കവിതാനാഥ് ശ്രീകലാ ബിജു ജ്യോതി രാജീവ് സഞ്ജന രാമകൃഷ്ണൻ Thank you.